all myself dr suchita agarwal i am a fetal medicine specialist so today i am going to discuss what is fetal medicine and what does a fetal medicine specialist do a fetal medicine specialist with the help of ultrasound it uh, examines the fetus thoroughly and its environment and diagnoses any pregnancy related complications any birth defects and then we plan the pregnancy accordingly so as to provide the best possible outcome in addition we offer a lot of blood test and genetic test like double marker quadruple marker nipt and certain invasive tests like chorionic villus sampling amniocentesis as and when required we also deal with uh, uh, many uh, high risk pregnancy situations like uh, a maternal high blood pressure diabetes and many other conditions and so as to provide the best outcome to the fetus so nowadays uh, we know with the um, increasing maternal age and a uh, lot of complications uh, arise and also with the advent of assisted reproductive technology such as ivf uh, it's very important to ensure the well being of the fetus how many scans are required in a low risk pregnancy in a low risk pregnancy a minimum of four obstetric scans are required the first scan is to be done in the second month of pregnancy that is around 7 to 8 weeks this scan is known as a dating scan what do you mean by dating scan dating scan first of all we see whether the pregnancy whether uh, there is a pregnancy or not whether it is intrauterine or extrauterine because if it turns out to be extra uterine it's uh, it's going to be very risky like maybe, maybe ectopic pregnancy whether it's a single turn or a multiple pregnancy if it's a multiple pregnancy whether what is a chorionicity whether it's a dichorionic pregnancy or monochronic pregnancy we also look for any adnexal masses there in ovarian mass ovarian tumor ectopic and also see the viability but the most important also is the dating of the pregnancy because if the women has short cycles or long cycles then definitely the dating will be changed and then we have to assign a etd an expected date of delivery to the mother this date of delivery is very important especially in the growth scans because we may falsely uh, give a fetus tell a fetus as a fetal growth restriction so in order to avoid this always a dating scan is a must a second scan is a third month scan that is done around 11 to 14 weeks this is known as the nt scan or the first trimester scan this is also known as a mini anomaly scan because many anomalies can be detected in the first trimester itself so uh, what is we see we see whatever structural uh, survey can be done in this we do it and the most important aspect of this scan is a first trimester risk assessment for chromosomal abnormalities this is done by combining the nt scan along with the double marker this gives a very good risk assessment for having a chromosomal abnormality abnormal baby because every mother has a chance of having a downs baby or any chromosomal abnormality so if we do this first trimester combined screening then it gives a very good risk assessment for having any abnormal baby any chromosomally abnormal baby or a genetically abnormal baby it, it gives a risk assessment for particularly for chromosomally abnormal baby the third scan is a, a fifth month scan or we can say the 18 to 20 week scan that is known as a tifa scan or the anomaly scan again a structural um, uh, survey is done all the structural abnormalities uh, can be detected whatever possible can be detected in this scan in addition again we can see for it the soft markers for the chromosomally abnormal baby suppose if the mother has missed the um, first trimester combined screening then again in this scan we can go for a genetic sonogram look for the soft markers of down syndrome and then give a risk assessment to the mother and, and also we can offer quadruple test at this time so again if the mother has missed the first trimester screen this is the time again we can detect a, any risk for chromosomal abnormal baby is there or not and the fourth scan the fourth scan is a growth scan the growth scan is usually between 28 to 34 weeks what do we do in this scan we we'll monitor the growth of the baby the whether the baby is optimally growing or not whether what is the, the fluid around the baby whether 
the the liquor status what, what is the amniotic fluid which we say whether the amniotic fluid is optimum or not and the blood parameter whether the blood flow is good or not so hence uh, and this is the time when we uh, detect a growth restricted baby so all these four scans are must in an obstetric um, in, 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 in obstetrics in addition we may increase the number of scans as and when re required depending on the maternal status and the fetal status so this was all about the scans now what when the abnormality is detected suppose if we detect a, an abnormality in a fetus what do we do then we discuss with the couple in detail regarding the abnormality what is the abnormality what is the short term prognosis of the abnormality what is the long term prognosis of the abnormality what can be done in the pregnancy itself regarding the abnormality whether it is treatable or not what can be done postnatally postnatally can we do something for the baby can any surgery be offered and if surgery can be offered whom to send to the patient and most important if uh, what is the recurrence in the next pregnancy suppose if the baby this is no, no, not treatable the baby doesn't survive in this pregnancy what about the next pregnancy what is the recurrence rate in the next pregnancy so this way the it becomes very much helpful to the couple to plan the next pregnancy like who are the mothers who uh, require special care like like every woman needs minimum of four obstetric scans but who are the one the highest pregnancy so high risk pregnancy many women come under this group one is a elderly prime elderly prime means the one who is more than 35 years of age then the one with many maternal chronic diseases like diabetes mellitus because if a mother has a diabetes she has a and it's a if it's an uncontrolled diabetes she has a very high, high risk of having an abnormal baby particularly heart defects another whole lot of defects can occur uh, mother with diabetes hypertension and other chronic medical illness like renal disease sle any other autoimmune disorders they all need special care they need frequent uh, um, frequent scans as advised by their fetal medicine specialist and suppose if a mother has a heart disease she has a heart disease she has a very high risk of having a fetus with a cardiac abnormalities so she needs in addition to the normal scan she needs a fetal echo also and also the patients with art the ivf patients they also needs in addition to uh, a normal scan they also needs a need a fetal echo suppose a a mother has a baby with a previous uh, abnormality like a previous pregnancy uh, index child she had an abnormal baby then she has to go for a detailed scan like from she has to uh, we have to be very vigilant in monitoring such mothers and there are many children who are born with single gene disorders like thalassemia sickle cell anemia spinal muscular atrophy so uh, such baby uh, we have in such case we have to examine the index child the baby who has the disease we have to examine the parents itself the parents are carrying those genes or not and in the next pregnancy if the parents are carrying that gene in the next pregnancy we can test for the gene itself in the third month by means of chorionic villus sampling and then see if the this particular pregnancy the baby is affected or not if the baby is affected then she can terminate the pregnancy in the third to four month itself so it becomes uh, she need not uh, carry the pregnancy uh, she need not carry the fetus throughout the pregnancy and then uh, end up having again a baby with a single gene disorder so such patients uh, they need frequent uh, uh, more of obstetric scans and frequent monitoring darshak bandhu bina appointment re सब रोग सफल उपचार जानवाई हेले एबे ही सब्सक्राइब करूँ आम यूट्यूब चैनल प्रिकॉशन फॉर हेल्थ आउ बेल आइकन क्लिक कला फल हेल्थ रिलेटेड वीडियो सहित रे अपडेट